Hi, I'm Nathan Tannenbaum with these stories from the Las Vegas Review Journal. We're starting with three separate stories on the Las Vegas Metro Police Force. First, the coroner's inquest into the police shooting death of 15-year-old Tanner Chamberlain. Several witnesses testified about the September 29th incident in which the bipolar teen was holding his mother at knife point. Also, the Review Journal's Carrie Gear Tevano reports jurors saw a 10 second video of the shooting. There's much more to the story in print and online Saturday. Our second police story goes back to the mysterious 2008 death of a 22 year old woman whose body was found in a downtown Las Vegas trash can. Metro Police Friday announced the arrest of 29-year-old Calfani Howard of San Bernardino, California, in connection with the apparent murder of Helena Haley. Details in Saturday's paper and online. Now our third Metro Police story involves following up on the deaths of two men in police custody in separate incidents this week. Police accounts say both of the victims were heavyset men who struggled with officers attempting to subdue them. We're finding out more about each of the men and exactly what's involved with what police describe as lateral vascular neck restraint. It's sometimes otherwise referred to as a choke hold. All right, in other matters, the Southern Nevada's H1N1 flu vaccine clinics will be reportedly run differently than in the past this weekend. Look for our continuing coverage on the district's plans to administer the injectable and flu mist versions of the vaccine. Hey, the long-awaited final round of the World Series of Poker is getting underway this weekend after a four-month break. Yes, there will be coverage in the print and online review journal, but you might find uh, even more on our blog, lvrj.com slash blogs slash WSOP. Are online travel agencies stiffing Clark County when it comes to room taxes? The review journal Scott Weiland's looking into a suggestion from County Commissioner Chris Giunchiliani that a law firm be hired to go after websites like Expedia and Priceline who are apparently paying taxes on the wholesale prices they pay for the rooms but not on the marked up prices that they're charging customers. Wyland has learned that big judgments have been awarded to local governments elsewhere in the nation who have pursued the same idea. Now, moving on to the Sunday Review Journal. A nationwide project from our parent company kicks off just in time for Veterans Day. It's a salute to men and women in uniform who've showed selfless courage at the moment of truth. Uh, we were on a quick reaction force, a QRF, uh, which is a standby, you're on 30 minute standby. And the package was uh, two Chinooks and two Apache AH-64 helicopters. So after a little bit of searching, we found the right valley, flew over the compound, we marked the compound. It was too late for us to uh, land because we were directly over it. The second Chinook, they went ahead and uh, landed. We went up a little farther to the north made a 180 and came in and made our approach. And as I'm on short final, uh, the people we're after, they, they just come out in the open and they look up and they see the Chinook coming right at them. And I tell my door gunners, you know, we have, looks like we have bad guys at 12 o'clock, we're just gonna continue and land. So we got on the ground and as soon as the aft wheels pretty much touched the ground, you could hear bullets hitting our aircraft and you could hear our door gunners on the left and right with their 60s at the time, uh, opening up, returning fire. But we're basically just sitting ducks there. There are many more incredible stories. They'll all be on the website, AmericanValor.net. The Sunday RJ Living section features a fun look at how Las Vegas has been portrayed in Tinseltown. From Mike Myers as Austin Powers, to Elvis, to Honey, I Blew Up the Kids, to Hangover. Well. After you read the story, you might want to check out the separate online photo slideshow. Also, don't forget the RJ Sports Team's complete pre- and post-game coverage of the Rebel football team's Saturday home game against the Colorado State University Rams. Yes, there's live in-game blogging, but much more on our sister website, rebelnation.net. Finally, weather. Follow the downward mercury trend throughout the weekend with always updating current conditions and forecasts at our all-in-one-stop shop, lvrj.com slash weather. For breaking news 24-7, you're at the right spot. Reviewjournal.com.